In this video, we will be talking about adding new pages with Bridge. So here I am at Pages, and I'm going to click on Add New. So over here, I see the WordPress Bakery Visual Composer. If you do not see it on your site, then you can check out our video on how to set up WordPress Bakery. We will link that video under the video description. By clicking on Add Element, you can add various shortcodes to your page. And if you scroll down, you will see these meta boxes. Here we have Code Title, Code Header, Code Footer. So all of these boxes were added by our theme. You can click on the box title in order to toggle the options. And you can also click and drag them around the page in order to organize your workspace. So these options here, they are local options and they apply to this page only. To learn more about how local page settings and global settings work, you can check out our video in which we talked about that. We will also link this video under the video description. So if you don't see these local settings on your page, you can scroll up. And here, if you click on screen options, you can go ahead and check all of these boxes that start with code. And then the options will appear on your page. Now over here on the right, under page attributes, you will see template. And if you click on it, you will see the various page templates that you can use with Bridge. So in the following section, we will cover all of these page templates. First of all, there's the default template. I will talk about this one a bit later in the video. And now over here, we have various different blog templates. If you choose one of these templates, your page will list your blog posts. So let's see an example. I'm going to choose blog masonry and then click on publish. Let's view my page. So we see now a list of our blog posts. Now down here on the page, under the section code blog, you will see several options that apply to the blog page templates. So you can choose the blog category, the number of posts, and you can also show comments. Now let's go back to page templates. Now we have contact page. And the contact page is configured in global settings. So let's click on code options. I'm going to click on contact page. And here you can set up your contact page. So you can enable a Google map, you can have a heading, and you can also have a contact form. Now I'm going to show you an example of what this page can look like. This is one of our demo sites. So here we have a map. We have some heading text and we also have a contact form. All right, let's go back to my page. Now over here in the page templates, we see full screen sections. Now let's see an example of full screen sections. This is another one of our demo sites. Down here, I have navigation and if I click on the arrows, a new section will cover my screen. This page template is a good choice for presentations. And in order to use the full screen sections page template, this is achieved by adding content on your page through WordPress Bakery. In this tutorial, I will not be showing you how to do that, but if you want to use the full screen sections page template, we will leave a link to our documentation under the video description so you can go ahead and follow the tutorial in our documentation. All right, now let's take a look at templates again. Here we have full width. I will talk about that a bit later on. Now we have landing page. The landing page template, it's just like a regular page, except that it doesn't contain a header nor a footer. So I'm going to show you an example of it. Here it is. This is another one of our demo sites. And as you can see, there is no header and no footer. This is a good choice if you want to create a coming soon page. Now over here we have WooCommerce. This page template is added when activating the WooCommerce plugin. So this is not added by our theme. All right, now we will talk about the full width and the default templates. 
If you want to create a regular page with a header and footer with your own custom content and layouts, then you can use the default or the full width page templates. If you use the default template, your content will be in grid. And with the full width page template, as the name suggests, your content will span full width of the page. So let's see an example. First of all, I will set the default template and I'm going to add some content to my page. I'm just going to add a regular text block. This is some dummy text. I'm going to add some more. Now let's duplicate this text block. Now I will add some top and bottom padding just to space out the text box. And I will add a background color to the middle text block. All right, now let's add a title to my page. And then I'm going to save it. Let's refresh my page. So this is the default page template. As we can see, all content is in a grid. Now let's go back to my page. Now I'm going to set the full width page template and then save. Let's refresh my page again. And as we can see, now the content is spanning full width of the screen. Now let's say that I want the background color to span full width, but I want my text to stay in grid. Let's go back to my page. I'm going to edit my text blocks. And over here, under type, I'm going to set in grid. So I'm going to do this for all the text blocks. I still need to be using the full width page template because I want the background color to span full width. So let's update my page now. And let's refresh my page again. So now we can see that the background color is spanning full width, but my text is in grid. Now, as for the grid size itself, by default, the grid is 1100 pixels, and this value can be modified in global settings. So let's navigate to code options. Over here in the general tab, I'm going to scroll down. And here it says initial width of content. So by default, it's 1100. I'm going to set it to 1400 and click on save changes. Let's go back to my page. So this is the page previously, and now I'm going to refresh it. And as we can see now, the grid size has widened. So in this video, we covered the various different page templates that are possible with Bridge. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.